If you're a thematically oriented author, then you'll want to first visit the theme browser. And here you'll find a complete periodic table of story elements, grouped in categories or families as it were. There's situations, activities, fixed attitudes, and manners of thinking. In fact, universe and physics, situation and activity are external. Mind and psychology, fixed attitudes and manners of thinking are internal. And universe and mind are fixed states of things, whereas physics and psychology are processes. So, you could ask yourself, is the focus of my story about an external or internal state or process? In fact, any subject matter you can think of will fall into one of these four broad categories. And when you select the one that works for your story, for example, physics and activity, then what activity is it? Well, let's say we want to deal with the activity of obtaining. It's all about possession. Let's double click on that and we can get into some greater thematic detail. Here we have obtaining and we now see that there are four thematic aspects to that that we might explore. The approach taken while obtaining, the attitude while obtaining, whether one's obtaining for one's self-interest or for the morality, the benefit of everyone else. Let's say morality is what we decide to explore. Then double clicking again brings us into even greater detail and we may decide that we want to explore faith, disbelief, conscience, or temptation. If we choose faith, then pushing this little arrow brings up a menu of options. Do we want faith to be the objective story problem or the objective story solution or perhaps the main character's personal problem? In fact, this is a little bit different than what happens anywhere else in Dramatica where it asks you something like, okay, you need to have a goal in your story, now what's the goal going to be? Obtaining something or becoming something? Well here instead you get to zero in on the subject matter in which you're interested and then determine how it will appear in your story as which story point. Perfect for the thematically oriented author. There are other tools in Dramatica for the thematically oriented author as well. For example, in the story engine you have these thematic choices. Now these here pertain to the objective story, also sometimes called the overall story, and you can pick your story's domain like we did in the theme browser, or the concern, or the principal thematic issue, or the essential problem at the heart of the objective story. Now the real difference is that instead of having to go through all that zooming, you can get here in the story engine and make the selections very quickly. And if you choose a domain first, that will then cut down the number of available concerns to one-fourth. That will cut down the number of available issues to one-fourth and the number of available problems to one-fourth. So ultimately your choices become much more simple if you work from the top down here in the story engine. You might also want to check out the query system. The query system is a collection of question paths each of which deals with different aspects of story structure and story development. You have character, plot, and theme for example. Here in story forming theme this is where you would work out your thematic structure. In story encoding theme, you would work on the illustrations of those story points you developed in your structure, or if you're an inspirationist writer, you'll come here to describe your thematic points first and then go to story forming to find the structure in the concepts that you are dealing with. Finally, when you've completed both of these in either order, you want to come to story weaving where you can work out an exposition plan for how you're going to unfold information about your theme for your audience. If you go to the story points window, you'll have the opportunity to look at all of the story points that Dramatic attracts. Now there are no specific areas here that are devoted exclusively to theme, but there's a reason for this. The fact is that Dramatica is a theme-based system and as a result every story point choice that you make is a thematic choice. If you're a thematically based writer then you can come here and do your storytelling first describing the thematic issues that you wish to explore all throughout your story and then later you can go elsewhere in the software and make your structural decisions based on the words you've already written. But if you're a structuralist writer and also interested in theme then you can decide on your story's structure first and come here to illustrate each of the story points thematically. In the reports area you can get some really useful information about your theme. 
Simply go to the pull-down menu and select the theme reports. And there you have the option of the master theme report, which pulls all of the pieces together, and the four through lines themes, which deals with each of the four essential through lines and their own specific thematic conflicts. You'll also want to visit the Dramatic Dictionary, where you can get all kinds of information on every thematic story point in Dramatica. Simply click on the item in which you're interested, and a definition will come up which will give you all kinds of details and even a lot of creative suggestions about how to improve your theme. Finally, don't forget to visit the help system. It's not just for finding help about how to use the software, but in Dramatica A New Theory of Story, the complete 450-page book online, under the elements of structure, you'll find a whole area devoted to describing thematic structure, thematic perspective, the thematic argument, and even thematic shading.